So you have some fancy 4K footage and you bring it into Resolve and it just has a hard time because your computer maybe isn't very good. Here's a way to edit 4K footage even on a slow computer. Here I am in DaVinci Resolve just in the edit page and I have some 4K footage here and it plays back all right on my system. It's good, but that's not always the case. You can see if I skip around here, it takes a little bit to kind of play back. It's not terrible, but it's certainly not having an easy time with it. So let's make this a little bit nicer on ourselves. There are a few different ways to deal with this, but I really think the easiest and best way to get this footage editable, which is a totally a word, is with proxies. Now, if you've ever used proxies before on any other program, you know it's kind of miserable, but it's actually really amazing in Resolve. First thing we're gonna do is go up to our DaVinci Resolve menu here and go to Preferences. And under System, under Media Storage, we're gonna go down here and I like to set proxy generation location to proxy subfolders in media file locations. What the heck does that mean? What this means is that when we make proxies, it's going to put them right by the full res files, which is generally where you want your media anyway, right? You want your media next to the high res media so that you can play it back and you have everything all in one place. You can also have it use the project setting or ask when creating. I pretty much just have it on this first one, okay? Make sure that that is set. So I'll hit save. And then I'm gonna go down to the lower right-hand corner to the settings cog right here. These are our project settings. And here under master settings, we'll scroll part of the way down here. And we have this section, optimize media and render cache. This is where we choose all of the options for how we render things and the cache files and that kind of thing. One thing, by the way, take this render cache format, do yourself a favor and make this like DNX HR SQ or something like that, okay? Don't leave it on uncompressed. That's gonna murder your computer, okay? Same thing with optimized media, might as well, okay? We're just gonna do something like that. We're not really gonna use optimized media, but just in case something froggy happens, you know what I'm saying? What we really wanna pay attention to is this proxy media resolution and proxy media format. We gotta make sure that these are the right settings. For most systems nowadays, you can leave this on H.264, but there are also some other options if you want to choose them. If you're having a hard time playing back H.264, maybe try DNxHR LB. That's a low quality DNxHR that's pretty easy to play back. But again, a lot of systems these days will play back H.264 just fine. This wasn't always the case. So if you talk to some old school people, they might be like, what are you doing, man? What are you, what are you, what is this? Just tell them, hey, it's okay, it's all right. Proxy media resolution, this is gonna be pretty helpful. If you have some high res footage like 4K footage and you have a really slow computer, you might consider setting this to half, quarter, or even an eighth of the resolution. Let's just switch this to one eighth and then just hit save. Now we're set up to make proxies. So we have our footage here in our media pool. We've already imported into Resolve. And all we have to do is just select whatever clips that we're having a hard time playing back, right click and go down to generate proxy media. What this is gonna do is make a low resolution copy of each of these files. And it's going to put it in a folder called proxies in the same location where our full res media is. And if you have a lot of footage or if the clips are really long, it's gonna take a while. So this one, just for these couple clips, which is I think 20 minutes or so, is gonna take nine minutes or so for it to think about. If you're having a hard time playing stuff back, this is really, really worth doing. I generally make proxies for everything I'm working with, even though I have a pretty good system, just because it's so much easier to edit things when they just play back nicely. You don't have to wait for it to kind of spin up and do that kind of thing. But while this is going, let me show you something else really cool about proxies. If you have Resolve installed, you'll also have a utility called Blackmagic Proxy Generator. So I can open this up. And this is a little utility that is separate from Resolve. And what it will do is it will automatically make proxies for you if it's running and you put media into a folder that it's watching. So what you do is you go down here to add and you select whatever folder you're going to dump your camera cards into or wherever your high res media is. You select that folder and hit select folder and that will add that to this watch folders list. And it'll ask what kind of proxies you wanna make. Most of the time I just do H.264, 8-bit, 420, half res, 1080p. And this is basically the same idea, except for you don't have to have Resolve open and tied up making your proxy media. This can run in the background. And what it will do is it'll do the same thing. It'll make a proxy file in the same location as your high res media inside of a folder called proxies. So for instance, here's some high res media that we shot in Blackmagic RAW at 6K. And it just adds this folder called proxy and it adds the proxies in there and they're named the same thing. And it will do that as you dump footage into that folder or you can just select a folder and have it kind of batch convert
convert all of that stuff. But either way, once we have proxies generated, Resolve will recognize that there are proxies that belong to each of these files. And that's indicated by this little icon that has the camera behind the film strip. That means that there are proxies. And by default, if we go up to playback here and look at proxy handling, it's set to prefer proxies. Now what that means is that as we play this back, look how well this plays back now. Oh, it's just crazy. It's so good. Ah, oh, look at that, it's butter. So now, even on a pretty slow system, all it's really doing is thinking about how to play back this proxy, which is a lower quality version that's easier to play back that kind of replaces this version here in the timeline. Now, you might be saying, well, why shoot in 4K then if I'm just going to convert it? Well, the idea here is that you're only replacing this while you edit. And so you can adjust this edit for time and content and make it just the way that you want in this really nice, easy to play back format. Oh, it just works so well, even on a, just an awful laptop, this will work. And then when it's time to do something fancy, like if you want to see the high resolution, you know, in your color. So if I hit control F, obviously this looks terrible, right? This is all pixely and it sucks. But at any point, if I want to look at the full res version, I can go up to playback and under proxy handling, we can just switch to prefer camera originals and that'll switch that out. And if you're just looking at a still frame and not trying to play this back in real time, you can see the final quality of this, right? In fact, don't tell anybody, but you can do some color grading on this and no, it won't act exactly like the originals, but you can get a pretty good idea and quickly go through and kind of rough in your colors, even with the low res clips. And they're going to look pretty similar to what you're gonna get even with the high resolution. And then again, you can always just switch back over to the camera originals to make sure everything's working well and there isn't some weird problem. And so it's always connected to the camera originals, to the high res media. But just for convenience sake, you can switch to prefer proxies and work a little faster. When you deliver this, when you export this, when you render it for your actual output and you go to the deliver page, you don't even need to remember to switch these proxies back. It will automatically switch them when it renders, unless you tell it not to. If you go all the way down to the very bottom of our render settings here, go to advanced settings, you can tell this to use your proxies. So if you're doing just a really quick render and you just wanna see kind of the story and you don't care if it looks good, you can click use proxy media and that's okay. But by default, it'll switch it out with the high res footage, even though I'm looking at the proxies here. So this whole process is so painless after you render the proxies that again, I mean, this is just, this is kind of just what we do now is we make proxies automatically because they don't take up much space. They're really easy to play back. Resolve switches these out brilliantly and we don't even have to remember to switch them out before we render. So if you have a little bit of a slower system, this should work beautifully for you. If you wanna learn more about special workflow tips and everything, we have a course for that. Pro editing workflow in DaVinci Resolve. It's available now at groundcontrol.film. Yeah, so I hope this is helpful for all of you. And I, it was helpful for me. I love this proxy workflow, it's so good. Oh, so good. It's like a toasted peanut butter sandwich on a cold day. Probably is.